Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are blasting Ritual Necromancy's Void Manifest EP on Dark Descent Records. Evil as fuck. Black Death awesomeness. So goddamn good. Get into it. And uh, today I want to talk about the debut from Anal Nakrath. The Codex Necro on Mercenary Music. This is not the earache reissue, but this is fucking vicious. This is also released in conspiracy with Mord Grimm Records. But I remember when I first heard this release, I never heard anything like this. I always thought black metal was a bunch of dudes, you know, hanging out in the woods, burning down churches, and murdering one another during this time period. 2003, black metal really hadn't hit me yet. It hit me a little bit after high school to where it was like, all right, I really, really dig this stuff. Like, back in high school, like, yeah, I listened to, like, a little bit of, like, dissection, but it wasn't until like afterwards I really, really started grasping the whole second wave Scandinavian black metal scene. And then my buddy Greg that works at my local record store took me completely into the black metal and death metal underground by just helping me so much when it came to music recommendations albums discounts just everything he really took me under his wing and was like hey Chanel like if you like this you'll like that but Anon the Craft came from my friend that worked at Relapse Records um he was like yo there's this black metal band that sounds like fucking Cryptopsy vocally like Lord Worm era Cryptopsy and I was like no way and he burned me a copy, and that band and that album was Anal Nakrat's The Codex Necro. And I was just absolutely blown the fuck away by this insane, just the way this was put together. With this like industrial music vibe, but also some of the most gnarly, vicious, grinding black metal that I never even knew existed. I didn't think you could do what this band did on this release and make it work. Like, so I was just completely blown the fuck away by this when I first heard it. And still, to this day, when I listen to it, I'm like, wow, this is fucking gnarly sounding. Like, and this is the original Mercenary Music uh, copy. Fuck everything, 2003 Mercenary Music must be played fucking loud and there's a little um little white lie hidden in here because I, I don't think the band knew how big they were gonna become i don't think they even thought they were gonna play live but um thanks list absolutely fucking no one do not ask for lyrics as anal the crafts will never be published that's a lie Hail Necro Warriors everywhere. Now, they said their lyrics were never going to be published, but I have proof over on my shelf that that was not true later on in their career. But with the Codex Necro, they were going for just, you know, complete, like, you know, I wonder who made this album? Like, you know, using stage names, corpse paint, the whole nine. And uh, you have Vitrol, and um, I always say this motherfucker's name wrong. Uh, where the fuck is it? Uh, fucking all music and vile blasphemy, written, recorded, engineered, and produced by Anal Nakrat. A roommate. I'm sorry, I said that so wrong, and I apologize. But all instruments and broken sound making pieces of crap <laughs> and then you have vitriol vomiting of utter blasphemic stench and concepts anal Nakraft plays fucking necro exclusively and then there's the thanks list which is absolutely fucking no one 
So, yeah. And you have your early 2000s style artwork that, like, every band was doing this mostly. Like, even look at the new Morbid Angel release. Like, it's that style of, like, kind of video gamey artwork, but it's not. It's still, like, I, I think this record's sick as fuck. Like, that would be a better cover, in my opinion, but just, like, this person suffocating with, like, all these ropes and shit. It's just an unsettling image. And I just think I'm fucking desensitized. Because, like, back in the day, I remember being like, oh, that's sick. But now I'm just like, yeah, like, it looks digitalized. I like my artwork painted. And I do, though. I do love, like, when, you know, bands go out of their way to make, like, an awesome painting and stuff. And, and like, hire dudes like, you know, like, Repka, Dan Seagrave, Paolo Giarde. Oh, my fucking God. He's on top of his game right now. And just like I was saying, very, very, like, sadistic, fucking, just vicious imagery. And it goes along perfectly. It's perfect soundtrack to the apocalypse. I remember, like, seriously, to me, this was Cryptopsy with Lord Worm, none so vile error, but black metal. That's what this reminded me of. But also the industrialness of it. Really, really, at the time, I was listening to a ton of Nine Inch Nails, especially Pretty Hate Machine, and just that industrialization, it worked for me. It helped add to the atmosphere that was already very, very unsettling, and just by the working of the electronics and just everything else, like, it just really, really fucking worked out, like, in my mind, and just really created an awesome fucking experience when it came to playing the Codex Necro, even all these years later, like, just blasting this is just, like I said, it's a fucking weird, very off-putting experience, and I recommend this, like, so fucking much. If you're a fan of, like, experimental black metal that's also gnarly as fuck, and somehow has these crazy grinding elements. Bands like Dead in the Manger kind of, you know, took this formula and made it their own, but a lot, lot more, like, just grim and more traditionalized black metal, but also the grind element that exists with Dead in the Manger, I think just is what makes it so fucking special. And getting to see them live was just, I was like, oh my fucking god, their drummer was amazing, I thought they used a drum machine, but I guess live, or hell, I, I don't even know, but anyways, when I first got this CDR, I did not have a track list, and um, this is actually my first physical copy, aside from the earache reissue that I gave to my buddy, but um, Garth gave me two copies, so... Excuse me. I figured my friend would love this, so I hooked him up with the earache reissue. But um, I did not have a track list for the longest time, but you have nine tracks on here of just some of the most vicious black metal, grindy, whatever the fuck you want to call this, insanity. But you have the supreme necrotic audience when humanity is cancer. Submission for the Week, Panoramic, I mean, Panademic Hyperblast, Paragram Shift Annihilation, The Techno Goat, like, what? Incepid Flock, Human, All Too Fucking Human, and the title track, The Codex Necro. This starts out just with pure insanity with the Supreme Necrotic Audience. It captures your fucking mind straight from the start just with a vicious goddamn onslaught of evil. Seriously, this is awesome fucking... I, I can't think of a word for it. It's just sick. Anel McCrath, the Codex Necro, 
industrialized, awesome, vicious, fucking black metal. There we go. That's what this is. That's what you're going to get out of it. And I guarantee you're going to love something about this album. I, I, I love it still to this day. Um, I know this is like one of Wyatt's favorite bands. And uh, this video actually goes out to Wyatt. So, Wyatt, this is for you. Hales, I know you know a lot more about this band than I do. So, please correct me with all my mistakes below, honestly. Because I know I fucked up a lot here. But this is an amazing, amazing release. The Codex Necro by Anel Nakrath really, really opened up my eyes of what was possible outside of traditional black metal. And, uh, yeah. We've been blasting Ritual Necromancy Void Manifest EP on Dark Descent Records. You need to check this out. So fucking good. And uh, that was Anul Nakrath, the Codex Necro. I'm going to give this a fucking 9 out of 10. I just, I still love it. And I still go back to it. I need a copy on vinyl. But this is just a great fucking album right here the codex necro if you like your black metal like gnarly and super fucking extreme then anala crafts the codex necro is totally fucking for you and this is the mercenary music version and it's also unleashed in proud conspiracy with monogram records but earache took care of the reissue so check that out Links will be below, Anal Nakrath, The Codex Necro, and Ritual Necromancy Void Manifest. So as always, thanks for watching, you guys are fucking awesome. I forgot to show off my uh, new arch goat hoodie. Fucking angel slaying darkness. Evil fucking, I love the blue as well, it's sick. But this is an awesome hoodie. Holy Mountain printing is the shit. You have this nice Chris Moyen artwork on the hoods. It's awesome stuff. Established 1989. Only thing is, I did not know the medium was going to be this small. So, lesson learned. Always buy a size up. But, as always, thanks for watching. Hails. Right.